Hello and welcome to the video in which we talk about gases, ideal gases, and a bit about pressure. First of all, we need to understand the difference among solids, liquids, and gases. Solids are rather like you sitting in your classroom or at your desk at your home. Liquid is like changing classes or kind of like cars going down a highway and going through the neighborhoods. Gases have a lot of distance in between the particles and they move very quickly and in straight lines until they run into something. When they do run into something, it's an elastic collision. An elastic collision is one in which they run into each other with a certain energy and come off from one another after the collision with the same amount of energy. Nothing is lost due to friction or other factors. So ideal gases move around in straight lines and they run into things all the time. They are allowed to move in three dimensions, up, down, left, right, all around, okay? They move straight in straight lines until they run into something. Let's say that they run into the wall. When you get a gas running into the wall of a container, that's pressure. Pressure is force per area. You can increase pressure by either increasing the number of gases that are hitting the wall in that certain area, or you can increase pressure by increasing the force that, by which the gas hits the wall. 